A peaceful morning, everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought changes to the lives and activities of people all over the world. The unprecedented situation lead the way to the different challenges and opportunities to continue education, as pointed out by Secretary Leonor Briones. Education must continue. As such, the SDO Pampanga adheres to the battle cry of the department. Sulong Edukalidad and the implementation of the Basic Education Continuity Plan for School Year 2020-2021. The School Governance and Operations Division and the Curriculum and Implementation Division in the Schools Division of Pampanga work collaboratively to give the best technical assistance highlighting the different projects, programs, and activities to all schools of the division. Supervision, monitoring, evaluation of the different PPAs and improvement towards quality education are strictly and effectively implemented. As the education system copes with the crisis, the spirit and the devotion of the Kapampangan teachers and personnel remains at the apex. My gratitude to all who work tirelessly to deliver the best education amidst this pandemic. Dakal pong salamat at mabuhay SDO Pampanga. SDO Pampanga, as always, is guided by the four principles of school-based management, which are leadership and governance, curriculum and learning, accountability and continuous improvement, and management of resources. The SDO Superintendent Engineer Edgar Domingo being the provider of the overall management and technical assistance for the efficient operations and effective implementation of policies and education programs at the school's division level ensures quality in the delivery of basic education services by developing division work systems and procedures, setting standards consistent with the national and regional educational policies, plans, and standards, and ensures compliance there too. Anchored on evidence-based planning, the implementation of programs and initiatives to ensure quality and accessible education in schools and learning centers is worked together through the collaborative efforts of our Assistant Schools Division Superintendents, Ma'am Melissa Sanchez and Ma'am Shirley Z. Pagan, and the Curriculum Implementation Division and Schools Governance and Operations Division. SDO Pampanga, through its assigned teams, practitioners, and validators, continues to monitor its schools in their current level of SBM practice until the end of the year. It aims to assist schools and to check their SBM level of practice guided by the SBM assessment tool and its indicators. The schools leveling for improved learning outcomes and school operations consistently work on improving not only its facilities but also its integration of wider community participation. Partnerships and collaborations were also made by the division with different stakeholders and local government units. From Level 1, Developing, Level 2, Maturing, to Level 3, Advanced. SDO Pampanga guides and assesses schools management through these levels of implementation. As the lead unit in the implementation of the basic education curriculum, the Office of the Schools Division Superintendent ensures access to, promotes equity in, and continuously improves the quality of basic education in the schools division by leading in the development and implementation of the Division Education Development Plan and the other operational plans, programs, and standards, building partnerships and network with stakeholders of education, as well as by effectively and efficiently managing the financial, human, and physical resources of the school's division. Relative to this, the following achievements were realized. 
crucial in the delivery of quality, relevant, and accessible education is the conduct of strategic planning aimed at redefining the direction of the SDO guided by the DepEd strategic directions. The Sustainable Development Goal number 4 with the objectives of ensuring the provision of inclusive and quality education towards lifelong learning. Ambition 2040 for peace and well-being for all. The freedom of information which advocates for the disclosure and transparency of government transactions and budget reforms for public accountability and social responsibility. The four-day strategic planning paved the way for the realignment of the OPCRF of the school's division. This was then trickled down to the modification of the OPCRF of the heads of each functional division as well as the IPCRF of all personnel involved. Through collaborative leadership, dynamic and responsive management, and empowered personnel towards nation-loving and lifelong learners, the SDO successfully redefined its annual implementation plan for fiscal year 2021 that is relevant and responsive to the challenges of the new normal education. Moved by the urgency of the call to revisit the DEDP for the fiscal year 2020 to 2022, VSDO, led by the School's Governance and Operations Division, or SGOD, oversaw the review of current goals, strategies, and interventions involving the three functional divisions and relevantly revised the DEDP for the fiscal year 2020 to 2022 that is contextually attuned to the challenges of the new normal education. With everything set and planned, SDO Pampanga is ready to face the achievements of its goals and targets for the Kabampangan learners. The School Governance and Operations Division or SGOD provides strategic direction and technical inputs towards the effective and efficient governance and operation of the schools and learning centers and provides technical support in implementing quality management systems and sustainable programs, projects and services with the following sections performing key roles towards quality basic education service delivery and organizational effectiveness. Planning and Research School Management Monitoring and Evaluation Human Resource Development Social Mobilization and Networking Disaster Risk Reduction Management Youth Formation Program Education Facilities And last, School Health Various activities were conducted to assure that assistance was given to the entire division through strategic planning, direction, and technical support. Partnerships were put up between the division and credible companies like Grolier, Smart PLDT Foundation, Bridges of Benevolence Foundation, and Neste Philippines that extended assistance to schools in SDO Pampanga. Moreover, 100% of the targeted training and seminars were successfully conducted and accomplished focusing on competency enhancement of teaching and non-teaching personnel. The periodic monitoring and evaluation of the progress and performance of the division and schools using the MEA technology has been institutionalized to continuously improve 1. The delivery of education services to achieve the desired outputs and sustainability of education outcomes. And 2. The division organizational performance for efficient and effective fulfillment of the division mandate. Commencing the series of M&E capacity building, the first phase was conducted highlighting the M&E tools and data analysis, specifically on instrument development, data analysis, and interpretation. Technical assistance was also provided relative to the management and supervision of private schools with the assistance and guidance of the public schools district supervisor. Moreover, school governance and operations division continuously assures that health is given equal importance. School-based feeding program, dental health projects, COVID-19 health safety protocols monitoring, along with the psychosocial first aid and project kumustahan. This is to ensure that the holistic health of all members of SDO Pampanga, so far as the programs can reach, is constantly checked. These are just among the numerous efforts that the School Governance and Operations Division comes up with to ensure that technical assistance and quality service is provided to its members, personnel, and to the rest of the school. This is then rippled to the school community and the rest of its stakeholders as we gear up and cope with the trying times. 
SDO Pampanga and ESCOD remain firm in their excellence and resiliency in the midst of the pandemic. Curriculum Implementation Division, being the heart of the education system, ensures the full implementation of the articulated basic education curriculum through the localization, indigenization, and innovations in teaching the various subject areas towards improvement in the quality of learning outcomes, improves provision and availability of quality learning and teaching resource materials for students and instructional support materials for teachers, provides technical assistance to schools in the areas of curriculum implementation and improves access to basic and functional literacy skills and raises the level of literacy in the deprived, disadvantaged, and underserved areas. Guided by this mission, SDO Pampanga proudly declares the achievement of the following PPAs. Super K Teleskwela Super sa kagalingan, karunungan, at kabutihang asan. Proudly, SDO Pampanga is one among the few divisions which implemented various learning modalities such as modular distance learning, online instruction, and TV-based instruction. Majority of the learners, however, maximize the opportunities which the modular distance learning provides, where the localized self-learning materials and alternative delivery mode materials prepared by teachers are used. VSDO's most unique practice though was the implementation of the TV-based instruction via Super K Telescuela, which is a joint project of SDO Pampanga and the provincial government through Governor Dennis Delta Pineda in collaboration with CLTV 36, a regional TV. This modality supplements the modular and online instruction to provide quality and more accessible learning opportunities to Kapampangan learners. TV-based lessons are produced for grades 4 to senior high school students and SPED learners across all learning areas from Monday to Saturday at 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. over CLTV 36, a regional TV. These are also simultaneously aired over FB live streaming and YouTube. Putting high premium on the acquisition of basic reading skills among Kapampangan learners, SDO implemented new normal reading activities to assist learners develop and enhance their language proficiencies. Public Schools District Supervisors or the PSDSS 
also visit schools and learning centers providing them with relevant and timely service through instructional supervision, provision of technical assistance in school management and curriculum implementation, establishment of a conducive physical environment for learners and school workers, and sustainment of strong and harmonious partnerships and collaboration among stakeholders in order to improve access to and delivery of quality basic education. Elementary School. Have a glimpse of what we have here at San Mateo Elementary School where everyone is aiming to continually soar high, anchored by the Department of Education's mission, vision, and core values. San Mateo Elementary School is always true to its work in promoting and offering the most suitable and appropriate learning experience to its learners. San Mateo Elementary School continuously tries reach out and give its best even in the new normal phase in the education we are having right now. Its flexibility and capability to adapt has been tested by the COVID-19 pandemic crisis. But amidst all the doubts and challenges the crisis brought along, San Mateo Elementary School is defiant to make sure that learning will not stop and that there is still accessible, relevant, and quality education given to its learners. Making a difference in the lives of our learners is our mission at Santa Cruz High Integrated School through the strengthened partnership and collaboration with our various stakeholders. I'm very happy to share with you the best practices of our school-based management journey. Para po, malawas tayo mo, pinigyan ng eskwela, Santa Cruz High Integrated School. San Pablo II National High School and its SBM journey is a crossover, a major transition and transformation for the San Pablo II school community. SBM's principle of shared leadership, governance, and accountability made us explore ways to better educate every Pabloyan while improving the school performance, capitalizing on partnership and collaboration with our stakeholders. The school's advocacy of Bayanihan sa Paralan, Tulong-Tulong para sa Kagalingan at Kahusayan, a guiding principle of every Pabloyan, makes everyone responsible and responsive for the improvement of the school. What we have now at San Pablo II National High School is likewise attributed to our transformational leaders of Depet Pampanga. Their sterling leadership and exceptional strategies to motivate, challenge, and assist us 
made us more proactive and committed to DepEd's Sulong Educalidad. The technical assistance they provide us are borderless and with a heart. Their pure concern in responding to the needs of the schools in terms of trainings, seminars, and physical facilities are remarkable and genuine. What St. Paul II National High School is, and what it has now, is an attestation of what school-based management has captured in the school. SBM is now a way of life and will always be in San Pablo Dos as it yields better educational programs and projects for quality education. Thank you, Deped Pampanga. Mabuhay! As the education sector copes up with these trying times, Bahay Pare National High School adheres to the call of SDO Pampanga to implement the best practices in school-based management. The different programs, projects, and activities were implemented properly with efficiency through the technical assistance of the SDO's School Governance and Operations Division committed to quality and relevant education amidst the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic may not be over but with the diligence and dedication of all teachers and stakeholders, the programs, projects, and activities were fully accomplished, ensuring quality and relevant education. Warak National High School remains to be happy, inspired, and remarkable, not because we work alone, but because we are gearing towards quality education, because we are indeed guided by our very own SDO Pampanga. Truly, we are blessed because we are not working alone. Uh, Quarak National High School is adhering to the principle of Mother Teresa, which states that I can do things she cannot, you can do things I cannot, but together we can do great things. Indeed, SDO Pampanga is with us throughout the years of our journey in the school-based management. God bless SDO Pampanga. Thank you very much. Amidst times of difficulties, we stand steadfastly. We teach. We aspire. We inspire. One step and one Pampanga. Pampanga! 